Lincoln. A four by 400 meters relay for men. And in this Great Britain, unlucky again, draw the outside lane. The mighty Americans are in lane two, Trinidad and Tobago lane four, and Jamaica lane three, and these are Britain's main rivals for the medals. Tim Graham, the lead-off man, running a very good first leg right on the outside. Pace judgment, all important for Graham. Can't afford to go too fast, but he's no one to judge his pace by. Also going well there in lane seven is Philip Book of Poland. The Americans not making a great deal of impression yet as they come into the straight, and it looks to me as if Graham's run a beauty. Tim Graham, Polytechnic Harriers, right away on the outside. Don't forget, this is a bit deceptive because the first 440 yards, 400 meters run in lanes, and the next 122, so Britain's lead may not be as great when Metcalf breaks in the back straight as it may appear at the moment. And the Americans worked a big switch here. They put Larrabee, the Olympic champion, in on the second leg. He usually runs the third, and Larrabee cutting them down now on the inside. They can break now. And Metcalf coming across. Larrabee trying to hold the inside. Trinidad and Tobago next. Jamaica the rest. And the rest nowhere. It's Britain in front. A storming leg there by Metcalf. He's run right across. He's five yards in front of the Olympic champion and going further away. Britain leads. Larrabee, America next. Then Trinidad. Larrabee really putting it in there and cutting it back on Metcalf. And it's beginning to hurt Metcalf. Metcalf tying up. He's suffering. And Larrabee comes away from America. Metcalf really in trouble now. He's run hard. But he's paying the penalty then. Trinidad next, Great Britain next, Jamaica next. John Cooper now in third place for Britain. Out in front, Julius Williams, America. Then Ed Roberts of Trinidad. Then Cooper, Britain. Then Mel Spence, Jamaica. These four have it between them. This is the race for the gold, silver and bronze. Trinidad up on Julius Williams there. Ed Roberts trying to take him on the outside and Williams won't give way. What a race, what a battle. Stride for stride. Into the bend. And Roberts will have to give way. It's America in front. And Coupenau has lost third place. It's Jamaica in third place. America lead. Trinidad next. Then Jamaica. And Cooper fighting with all the strength he's got. And that's considerable. And Cooper coming on the outside now. America first. Trinidad next. Then Jamaica. And then Britain. And the last leg coming up. Henry Carr goes away as Williams practice down. Far lead for America. Wendell Buckley now for Trinidad in third place. George Carr to make an extra. Robbie Brightwell, five, six yards adrift. And Brightwell not making any impression. America, Jamaica, and Trinidad now through on the outside. So one of the best races we've had so far. Look at Henry Carr in front. And Brightwell now five yards back against the world's best. It's America in front. Trinidad next. Jamaica next. And Brightwell still making no move. Can he do it? Can he get back after that shock defeat in the 400 meters? Carr's there. And Brightwell is coming on the outside. He took a bad bump there from Carr. No, America are going to win it. Here's Brightwell now in the bronze medal position. And he could get the silver. And Brightwell's going to do it. It's Brightwell's second for Britain. And no wonder he fell. No wonder he went down. A new world record for the Americans that we made the British team also inside the world record. The silver medal. Yet another superb run by the British athletes who are running way, way, way above themselves. The Americans anchored by the great Henry Carr. As I've said so often, one of the most pleasing sights in action on the track today. Ulysses Williams in the glasses, Olin Castle just out of shop, Mike Larrabee in the center. A new world record for America. Medals to be presented, the bronze medal for the Trinidadians. Britain have received theirs in second place. The times confirmed. The first three all broke the existing world record. the reigning champion, you're watching a man making Olympic history. This man is Ethiopian, unknown in Rome. And now the line-up for the men's 400-meter final. Britain's captain, Robbie Brightwell, had been tipped for gold. 
The commentator working from London was Norris McWhirter. Well, there comes Brightwell. Brightwell going strong in Larrabee coming up inside Brightwell. The respectful Larrabee coming up inside and he's way past. And it's Brightwell there and Buckley and Bedensky of Poland coming through on the inside. But it's Larrabee and it's Larrabee. Larrabee of the United States first. Buckley second. Bedensky was third. And Robbie Brightwell of Great Britain fourth. Superb athletes achieved great things in the Tokyo Games. Some winners were surprising, like the little-known American who stole the 10,000 metres. About 120 yards left, Kaburi leads and talks catching him. What a finish to six and a quarter miles. What a finish to an Olympic race. And what a mix-up as they crush the leading runners. And here comes Clark. The Tunisian goes again. The Tunisian 6 one Clark there is the camera. And Clark had it. And here comes Bill. And Bill is going to do it. What a race. And what a run. Bill Mills wins, the Tunisian second, and the Australian third. The camera is concentrating on the world's fastest human, Bob Hayes, in lane one. Hayes got a good one.